What's up everyone? Welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. Today I'll share with you how to disassemble a classic rear shock from a motorcycle like this one on the table. Once it's disassembled, it'll look something like this down below. Right now I'll share with you the tools that you'll need for this disassembly. Then I'll head over to the vise and share with you the full disassembly process. These are the tools that I'll be using in today's video. I have a medium sized flat screwdriver, a nine millimeter wrench. I have a 15, a 17 and a 26 millimeter socket. These are all metric. And I also have a heat gun, which will come in handy during the disassembly process. I'm over here at the vise with all my tools and the rear shock. The first thing I wanna to do to the shock is remove as much tension as I can with the hand adjuster ring down below. I just removed as much tension as I could with the adjuster ring down below. It has a hand grip on it, and now the spring is semi-loose. For the next step, I have to remove the retainer from the shock absorber. So I'll share with you guys how that works. The rear shock is mounted within the vise. You can use wood or soft jaws to clamp onto the aluminum top retainer of this shock. Um, the guard of the spring is right here. Our spring is here, and our damper is down below. We need to remove the damper from the top retainer. To do that, we will have to pull this assembly a little bit back and right behind this cover on the shaft, we will reveal a bumper. It looks just like this. And with the flathead screwdriver, we will have to move the bumper a little bit back so we have access to our shaft. On the shaft, there are two milled surfaces so we can insert our nine millimeter wrench. That will be on this height right here. Once we have our wrench inserted onto the nine millimeter cutout on the shaft, we can then loosen it from the upper retainer. During this process, you wanna work with safety glasses, so put your safety glasses on. We are working with a spring right here. The rubber bumper has been pushed back. The nine millimeter is on the shaft of the shock absorber. Now I've got to take my heat gun and heat up the top retainer itself. That will loosen up this assembly and I can loosen the nine millimeter off counterclockwise, just like any other bolt or nut. So we're going to do that right now and we'll get this disassembled. The shock absorber shaft has been loosened off with the 9mm wrench about halfway. The thread on the tip of that shaft is about 12mm or that's about half an inch. Um, so I removed that about 6mm, a little bit more maybe from that top retainer. Now I'm going to take the 9mm off or out and I'm going to remove these two blocks and let the spring come back to the top of the retainer. Once that's there, it will then be free or the spring will not have as much tension as it did before. Then we can loosen off the back by hand. And just like that, the bottom shock absorber is now removed from the top retainer. The spring is perfectly free, the cover has been removed without any damage, and the bumper slides off just like that. These are all the parts which are left over from the shock absorber. The top retainer, 
we have our cover, our spring, our bumper, still in great condition. We have our shock absorber, and this is the shaft which has the thread on it, and that's where I inserted the nine millimeter wrench. Now, for the next step, we will need the sockets, which are just over there, and we will have to remove these silent blocks from the top retainer. So this one is a little bit smaller than the bottom one. The bottom one is, is a little bit bigger, and the inner piece has already fallen out because it is very worn. So I will use the 15 millimeter and the 26 millimeter for the top retainer and the 17 millimeter and 26 millimeter for the bottom silent block. The 26 millimeter is on our stationary jaw. The silent block is in the middle of both sockets. The 15 millimeter is in the front. And now I'll turn the vise clockwise to push the silent block out of the top retainer. out of the top retainer super smooth now let's do the same to the bottom shock absorber I was able to push the second silent bushing out of the damper side of the shock assembly now all the parts are laid out on this table I do have a lot of work ahead of me, so I have to clean up all these parts which are on the table. Once all the parts are clean, I can evaluate them. Once everything is evaluated, then I'll order in some new parts, especially those silent blocks have to be replaced. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. If you want to see the assembly video of this rear shock and damper, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well, because then you will be one of the first to see that video.